Hey folks, welcome back to Tech Tech and More Tech. I'm Carlo and these are NFC tags. As always, if you want a more detailed written version, head on over to techtechmoretech.com or check the link in the description just below that like button. Using NFC tags through smart home isn't a new idea. In fact, Apple introduced it with iOS 13 a year and a half ago. But nevertheless, they are a great way of adding functionality to your smart home and even beyond. For those who don't know, NFC stands for Near Field Communication, and it basically works like a digital button. You don't press it with your finger, instead you bring up your phone to it, which also has an NFC chip inside, and you trigger a set of instructions. Most phones support this, especially on the Android side, though with iPhones it needs to be an iPhone XS or newer, if you don't want to use third-party apps. I've long been an advocate for automations in your smart home, as I believe they are the best way to utilize all the smart home tech. But there are many times when the result of an automation is what you're really after, but the trigger is just too variable for the automation to be reliable. Apple has the most robust solution to this in terms of shortcuts. These go beyond just a smart home, allowing you to string together a series of events and actions. For example, if whenever you leave work, you put on a podcast, turn on Waze, and text your spouse, instead of having to do these things individually, you can activate a series of actions with a single tap on a shortcut on your phone. One way this can be solved is by invoking a scene using a voice assistant, or even something like a smart button. Of course, sometimes you don't want to use your voice, and sometimes a smart button doesn't work either, like outdoors or if it's outside of your network range. NFC tags are super low power tags that can trigger an action on your phone, so they don't need any sort of network connectivity or even a battery. You can place one in your car, outdoors, by your bed, and wherever you tap it, it will do those actions. You can also add conditions like time, so you can have a single tag be multifunctional, though that is a little bit more advanced. Another benefit is assigning different functions to the NFC tags depending on whose phone activates it. I could have my phone activate one scene while my wife's phone would activate a different scene. You can get these for very little on Amazon just by searching NFC tags, and I'll have a link in the description below to the ones that I'm using. They come in a couple different options like if they have adhesive, if they're outdoor rated, or if they work on metal surfaces. So let's take a look at some of the fun ways that these can be utilized and set them up in HomeKit as well as Home Assistant. On your iPhone, we will be using the Shortcuts app. It is a stock app that you may have never used, so just search for it and launch it. From there, we will go to the Automation tab and create a new Personal Automation. Scroll down and select NFC. Scan the tag by placing it by the top of your phone and give it a name. If you're going to set up a bunch all at once, I would recommend noting which one is which because otherwise you may forget and they are all identical. For this example, I'm gonna have my phone start a particular podcast and give me driving directions to work using Google Maps. If you use anything other than Apple Maps, you'll want to select the location option and then do show directions because then you can choose whichever application you prefer for your GPS needs. When you're done, I would recommend unchecking the ask before running because it gets very annoying and kind of defeats the purpose of this you know, pseudo automation. One thing I like is that you can place NFC tags anywhere as they aren't relying on any sort of network. So you can even put it outdoors to trigger your door being unlocked, for example, or even at work. I find it great to use when going to bed because I often go to sleep much later than my wife. So I can just tap on the tag by my bedside table and it will start my alarm app sleep cycle, which tracks my sleep. And it'll also start the good night scene, which turns off all the lights and locks all the doors. This way, I don't need to turn on my screen, nor do I have to make any sort of sound by invoking Siri. If you don't use HomeKit, that's not an issue either. You can utilize Home Assistant with NFC tags. If you use Amazon or Google Assistant as your main smart home ecosystem, then you're out of luck, as I don't know any way that allows them to utilize NFC. Home Assistant makes it much easier to have multiple automations on a single NFC tag because of the versatility of the automation system. You can create it all directly from the Home Assistant app on iOS or through the Shortcuts app. I recommend doing it through the Shortcuts app because otherwise you will need to approve the shortcut each time. So go to Shortcuts and add a new automation with the NFC tag. Choose the Home Assistant app and select Fire Event. Give the event an easy to remember name, save it, and that's it. 
Then go to Home Assistant and you're going to create a new automation, where the trigger will be that event. You can then write out the conditions and actions for that automation. If you prefer to do it with the Home Assistant app, that's fine. You can go to Configuration and Tags and add a tag. Give it a name and then do Create and Write, which will prompt you to tap the NFC tag with your phone. Then you'll tap on the little robot icon, which will allow you to create an automation for that tag. If you're using an iPhone, you'll notice that each time you tap that tag, then it'll pop up with a notification, and then you have to tap that notification to actually trigger the automation. I really like utilizing Home Assistant for the smart home related automations, as they're very powerful and they're very versatile. But for more advanced device related tasks, it's hard to beat the Shortcuts app. If you're interested in more shortcuts in general, check out Matthew Casanelli's website, where he shares hundreds of shortcuts. This will give you a good idea of what all is possible to do with them. Here's a complex example of having the car tag do different things depending on if you're going home or going to work. We unfortunately can't pull the location data from our phone, so instead we're gonna to have to check if it's a work day and what time of day it is. Using a nested if statement, we can check first to see if it's a work day by, go by getting the date, selecting custom format, and then converting that value to a number. Then we'll check to see if that number is greater than five. This is because the day value goes from Monday to Sunday and one to seven. So six and seven are weekends. We will then check to see if the time of day is morning because we will want the GPS to show the route to work and we'll have to start a playing a particular podcast. If it's the afternoon, we will then show the GPS taking your route home and we'll play a different podcast. And if it's not a work day altogether, then we'll just have it play music. So there you have it, a couple fun ways to use NFC tags to help automate your life when a pure automation isn't quite feasible. The few things I would love to see improved going forward is complete integration of automations and shortcut functionality, as well as being able to trigger NFC tags with an Apple Watch. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for plenty more videos to come. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will get to them as best I can. And until next time, See ya.